Hi guys, Peter Finch here, and today is the first of a three video series on getting you back into golf after the winter break. And it's gonna be focusing on the key fundamentals of your swing. So your grip, your stance, ball positions, and posture to really nail down those key aspects of the technique before you get going into the season so you don't have to mess around with them as the actual year progresses. Now this is a really key time of the year for many of you. You'll just be dusting off your clubs after the winter as it slowly kind of moves away. I know there's a lot of you who have been battling away in the winds and the rain as well, but hopefully this will be of use to all of you. Now the grip is obviously a vitally important part of the technique. It's only part of your body which is in contact with the club hopefully is the only part of your body which is in contact with the club at any time during the technique. So you need to make sure that it is bob on for what you are trying to achieve. Now what we'll do is we'll talk through the different types of grip that you can use, but also some of the different positions that you can place your hand on the grip and the likelihood of what that will actually produce as you're hitting shots. Right guys, the first thing to know is the different types of grip that you can use. Now broadly speaking, there are three different types of grip. You have the overlap grip or the Varden grip, which involves the little finger of the right hand overlapping the in, in between the index finger and the second finger on the left hand. What that actually does, that kind of overlap, it just fuses these hands together. It keeps pretty much all the fingers on the club apart from the little finger. This grip is kind of, well, it was invented, popularized by Harry Varden, you know, a very famous English player. But then there's lots of other kind of grips which have happened around that and lots of different little variations. But generally, that's what classifies as an overlap or a Varden grip. Now the interlock grip is similar, except rather than just overlapping with the little finger, the index finger actually lifts off the club, the actual little finger lifts up, and then they interlock and interlace. Made very, very popular by Tiger Woods, and there's lots of different players who now use this grip. The last one is the 10 finger or the baseball grip, where all the fingers are on the club, nice and snug still, but you can actually see here the little finger and the index finger of the left hand are actually touching rather than kind of interlocking, interlacing. My personal favorite of these is the overlap. I think it's a lot more comfortable on the hands. It fits a lot nicer with people with longer fingers. What you'll generally see is people with shorter fingers who need a little bit extra strength. They will go for the interlock. But there is no really right guide. It's what feels comfortable. It's what fits your hand shape. Please consult a pro when you're really kind of getting into what type of grip that you're going to use. Now, how do we actually place these on the club? Right guys, so this is my kind of disembodied voice. I am still here, but I'm just a little bit <laughs> above. Now what we're gonna talk about first of all is a nice neutral grip. So what you wanna be seeing really as the hands go onto the club to get that club face back to about neutral pointing at the target as you hit. But there are lots of variations around this grip and we'll talk about a few of them. So first of all, in the left hand, you wanna be seeing the grip run from pretty much the base of the little finger. So it runs across the fingers until it kind of reaches out of the middle of the index finger. So it kind of runs across the hand like this. Now what you'll see from here is that the little finger and the little pad at the bottom of my left hand they can kind of pinch on, and then the rest of the hand can actually wrap over like this. Now what you wanna be seeing is you actually look down onto the grip, is you wanna be seeing this V, which is created by the thumb, the forefinger on the left hand, pointing upwards towards the right shoulder. Simple as that, really. And as you actually put the right hand on with the overlap or the interlock, whatever it might be, you just wanna be making sure, as a rough guide, that you cover the left thumb. So it's nice and smothered. It sits in the lifeline here of the right hand, just so it's nice and snug. On the right hand, you kinda wanna be looking down and seeing this V pointing up towards the right chest or even the right shoulder. But you can have a little bit of a fiddle around with this. So once you've kinda got that grip on, if you say wanted to strengthen this grip, what would happen is if you move the left hand more over so into a very strong position where all the left hand is on top of the club, at impact what would happen is that would generally start to see the club face switch over to a closed position. 
If, for example, with the left hand that was more underneath, what would happen is the palm would want to face inwards and that would more open up the club. And it's just kind of similar rule to the, the right hand. The only difference is if the right hand is more underneath, the palm will want to face inwards, close the club. If it's more on top, it'll want to face inwards and open the club. So you can imagine if you have a left hand which is very much on top and a right hand which is very much underneath, as that club comes into impact, the club face is going to want to square by those palms actually moving into a position where they're facing each other and that club face would very much shut down. So if you're looking to maybe play an artificial draw or a manufactured hook, you can actually strengthen the left hand or the right hand or both and that will help you close the club face a little bit more through impact. And the opposite if you want to fade. There's lots of different ways of doing this. But generally to get a nice wrist hinge and to get a nice swing, it's running from the base of the little finger through the middle of the index. That wraps over, that V points up towards the right shoulder, seeing two and a half knuckles on the right hand as a general rule. I overlap, smother the left thumb, get that V pointing up towards my right chest, and from there, I'm good to go. Right guys, so after all that chat, let's hit the shot. So I've got my overlap grip. I'm getting into that kind of neutral position within my hands. It's gonna allow me to hinge that wrist very, very freely. And also allow that club face to get into a pretty decent position as it comes into the ball. Middle of the green, I will take that. I will take that. Right guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, please share this video around and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on the other social media platforms as well. And then stay tuned for the next video, which is all gonna be about stance, setup, and ball position. Right guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.